A lot of you guys were introduced to my channel through one of my many, many Rode microphone videos. <laughs> I've sold a whole lot of microphones for Rode in the past. Hope it goes appreciated. But there's a new wireless mic on the market with a beautiful salt and pepper troll veg that just might be the new champ. And today I'm gonna put it through every test that matters. Mirrorless camera, iPhone, Android, lavalier mic, internal recording, distance test, and a wind test to see how practical and powerful these little pube puffs really are. These right here are the DJI wireless mics. They've been out for almost a year now, so I'm not gonna go over a respect. That's not really my thing anyway. Just know that you get two wireless transmitters, AKA the mics, and you get a receiver for those mics, and you could use the adapters that come with this amazing case to either connect a mirrorless camera, an iPhone, an Android phone, a laptop or a computer, and you can record audio internally to each transmitter. The case holds almost everything you need, plus it charges everything a couple of times times which is great my only complaint is that you can't fit the windshields and the transmitter wire in the case with everything else which is actually a little bit more frustrating than you would probably think but now I have to carry around this little pouch to hold everything else besides that DJI gets an A plus for how you store everything it's done better than I've seen anybody else do it so far all right we're connected to the iPhone 14 Pro cinematic mode front-facing camera and a lot of people have been complaining that their audio doesn't get picked up on their smartphones a lot of the time. And that's kind of a small design flaw, I guess, for the DJI mics. So the adapters, both the lightning and the USB-C adapters that come in the case, when you slide them in, they have to be all the way slid in till the very end to where they can't go anymore. If they're just a hair off, then it won't record audio. It'll still show up on your audio meter on your receiver, but it won't actually be recording. So an easy way to actually check to see if you are properly connected to your smartphone, instead of doing like a tap, a test record, then you have to remove the receiver in order to play back the video, then you could hear to see if you are connected. All you have to do is just tap the pair button when your receiver is connected to your smartphone. If it stops and starts recording, then it's properly connected. If it does nothing, then you're gonna have to push that adapter all the way up forward. All right, now I'm gonna actually remove the receiver from the port and we're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison of the internal mics on my iPhone 14 Pro and the internal recording on the DJI wireless microphone. All right, check, check. This is the microphone on the iPhone 14 Pro. We have a slight breeze going right now, enough wind that maybe the phone will pick it up and it'll ruin our audio. And now you're listening to the internal recording on the DJI mic. And I can guarantee you don't hear any wind noise whatsoever. All right, now we got a little bit more wind. One more time. This is the microphone from the iPhone 14 Pro. And this is the DJI microphone. No wind noise, perfect, good to go. All right, now we're connected to an Android device with the USB-C adapter to the Pixel 7 Pro. And we are in cinematic mode on the Pixel 7 Pro as well. What do you guys think? How does the sound quality sound connected to an Android device? And now let's do a little comparison here. So now I removed the receiver from the Pixel 7 Pro and you are hearing the internal microphone on the Pixel 7 Pro. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Now I switched over to the internal recording on the DJI mic and you guys could hear the sound difference. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. So before I had it connected to the uh, collar of my shirt, now I actually use the magnet and put a dead center in the middle of my chest. I got my cycle board right here. Love this thing. This is like the most fun I've had all summer long. So we're gonna hop on this. We're on a rocky trail right now. Not really trusting it. Oh boy. Let's extend this out a little more. That didn't work at all. That's better. Hope I don't fall. Shouldn't be doing this one-handed, folks. And you should be wearing a helmet, knee pads, wrist guards, elbow pads. You should be doing all this stuff. Everything that I'm not doing right now. We're on a nice open trail right here. There's nobody around and nobody could really get hurt except for myself. So right now we're doing about five miles an hour. Let's see if we can speed it up a little bit. Definitely got some wind going. And you guys let me know, do you hear any wind noise right now? We are up to 10 miles an hour. 
how we sound in here. All right, now it's time for the famous and slightly overrated and overdone distance test, but we're gonna do it anyway. At a certain point, like how far do you really need your subject to be mic'd up? You always have internal recording options available if it's super far away. All right, I'm just gonna start backing up. I have no way of measuring this distance. I'm just gonna keep walking until I get fed up with this test, basically. Mic check one, two, mic check one, two. The best way I can measure something is by measurements of 10 feet. So I would picture a basketball hoop laid flat down on the ground, and I would say right about now, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five. I'm about eight basketball hoops away from the camera. Now I'm gonna do a turnaround, and I have a good feeling that when I put my body in between the transmitter and the receiver, you guys aren't gonna hear anything, it's probably gonna cut out. If it doesn't, I'll be really impressed. So let's turn around, now we're sideways. Still got some line of sight here, but when we completely turn around, I start to turn back around. It should probably cut back in, and you guys should hear me perfectly fine, and I'm just going to walk back to this camera again because these tests take up too much time in the video. One area where I do think that DJI, I wouldn't say dropped the ball, but maybe missed an opportunity to have another cool feature added here was to be able to have your transmitters, AKA your mics, be able to just sync right up with some of their cameras, like the DJI Action 3, maybe the Pocket 2, maybe even drones. I would not mind having built-in audio into something like the Air 2S, which I'm flying with right now, which by the way, the new update for the Air 2S allows you to use the controller, the smart controller that came, let's center this real quick that came with the Mini 3 Pro with the built-in screen, yeah, you could buy that separately now and sync it up with your Air 2S and it works great. 300 bucks, well spent, and it makes me feel like I have a completely brand new drone again. A feature like that might actually make me consider picking up the DJI Action 3 over something like, you know, the GoPro Hero 11 or whatever. Love the GoPros, haven't had the greatest experiences with the media mod. You don't know if it's always connected. If the DJI mic syncs wirelessly to the Action 3 or upcoming cameras, for me, that would entice me to go the DJI route when buying an action camera. Maybe the DJI mic's version two and then the Pocket 3 and the Action 4 and then future drones will have that option. Let me just get this out the way real quick. Yes, I have promoted Rode microphones, especially the wireless microphones in the past, many times. And up until the DJI wireless mics were released, the Rode wireless Go 2s would probably still be my first choice when recommending wireless microphones to people. But everything is different now. And by the way, I did pay full price for these DJI microphones. DJI is one of the few companies that I really do want to work with at some point that I haven't yet. So any DJI products that you ever see on this channel to date have all been purchased full price directly out of my pocket. So this video is definitely not sponsored by DJI in any way, shape or form. This video does have a sponsor and we'll read it right now, which is Motion Array, which gives us the perfect opportunity to do an audio comparison between the Rode Wireless Go 2 and the DJI microphone. We're just gonna clip it on and we'll use the built-in microphones and we're gonna go with internal recording only. Motion Array is truly your one-stop shop for everything creativity. Whether it's Adobe Premiere Pro, After Effects, Rush, Final Cut Pro, and yes, even DaVinci Resolve, Motion Array completely has you covered. Motion Array has a huge library of tools for pretty much all your video editing needs. We're talking about titles, transitions, a huge LUT library for pretty much any camera I could think of. Video overlays, motion graphics, templates, customizable intros for your videos, royalty-free music and sound effects, as well as stock videos and photos. And right now, Motion Array has some free assets that they're giving away for a limited time only, so you better head over there quick. And you get to use everything that Motion Array has to offer for one affordable monthly subscription, which there's actually a free trial going on right now. And I always say this because it's the absolute truth. Long before Motion Array was a sponsor and friend of this channel, 
I was a happily paying customer. The moment I created a free account, I knew that Motion Array was gonna help benefit my projects. Make sure you head over to Motion Array right now and start that free trial. What are you waiting for? Well, after this video, but then head right over there and use the link in the description below. It'll help you out. Thank you, Motion Array, for sponsoring today's video. And that is the microphone comparison. Which one did you think sounded better? Now, unfortunately, it's not all good things for this mic system from DJI. There are a few things that have me a little concerned, just a little bit. Number one, these adapters that slide on and off from the transmitter. The clip, the hot shoe clip, it's, uh, it's flimsy. If this thing lasts more than 15, 20 times of me taking it on and off without breaking, I will be extremely surprised. I took a quick look, I could be wrong, but as of right now, I haven't seen an option that DJI sells these clips separately. DJI, you need to. You need to start selling the clips and the windshields because that clip is not gonna last and these windshields have to be kept separate inside of this little sack that you gave us. I'm glad you gave us a sack, but hopefully somebody on Amazon can create some kind of case that goes over the DJI mic case which will have extra storage for the two windshields and the wire, maybe like a little pouch on the back that Velcros up and down and the mic case can kind of sit snugly inside of that. Somebody think of something and make it on Amazon. It'll, it'll, it'll sell, I'll buy it and I'll promote it. If you make it and you message me saying I inspired you to make that product for everybody, then I will promote it for you free, free of charge, just send me to send me some for free before anybody else. The next problem is potentially using a lavalier mic with the DJI system. Some mics sound really good connected to the transmitter and some leave a terrible buzzing type noise that just makes your audio pretty much unusable. I have two lavalier mics here that we're gonna test out. One is Rode's newest lavalier mic, which is just called the Lavalier 2. And this is the white lavalier Go which was made to pair up with the Rode Wireless Go. Should be just fine right there. And let's plug in the Rode Lavalier 2. All right, microphone check. This is what the Lavalier 2 sounds like paired up with the DJI wireless microphone. Let's listen to some background noise. My dog is snoring back there, so you might hear that, you might not, but let's just see how the noise floor sounds. Let's see if we hear any weird buzzing or anything else. All right, next let's test out the Rode Lavalier Go, which apparently the little foam on the outside of this turned yellow. I don't know if I've ever actually used this before, maybe once or twice besides the review. And now we should hear some bad feedback Bad connectivity, just something, something's bad. When it really comes, when it really comes down to it, best wireless microphone system that I've seen yet, by far. Can only get better from here. Please, next year, allow us to store everything in the case, so I only need the case and that's it. Somehow, figure it out. Put pockets on the side, something. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you, Motion Array, for sponsoring today's video. And I will see you guys next time. Make sure you click sub, thumbs up, bell, all that good stuff. And leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys later. Yeah!